Hi, my name is Danny Lowen. This is a monologue from one of my favorite movies. Maybe he's just not that into you. And I'll be playing the role of Gigi. Girls are taught a lot of stuff growing up. Like if a guy punches you, he likes you. Never try to trim your own bangs. And that someday you'll meet a wonderful guy and have your very own happy ending. Every movie we see, every story we're told implores us to wait for it. The third act twist, the unexpected declaration of love, the exception to the rule. But sometimes we're so focused on finding our own happy ending, we don't learn how to read the signs, how to tell from the ones who want us and the ones who don't, the ones who will stay and the ones who will leave. Maybe your happy ending doesn't include a guy. Maybe it's you on your own, picking up the pieces, starting over, freeing yourself up for something better in the future. Maybe the happy ending is just moving on. Or maybe the happy ending is this. It's realizing after all the unreturned phone calls, the heartbreak, through the blunder and misread signals, through all the pain and embarrassment, you never gave up hope. This is Val's monologue from A Chorus Line. So the day after I turned 18, I kissed the folks goodbye, hopped on a trailways bus, and headed to the Big Bad Apple because I wanted to be a Rockette. Oh yeah, let's get one thing straight. So I never heard about the red shoes. I never saw the red shoes. I didn't give a fuck about the red shoes. I wanted to be a Rockette because this one girl from my hometown, Luella Heiner, had actually gotten out and made it in New York and she was a Rockette. She came home one Christmas and they threw her a parade. A goddamn parade. I twirled a baton for two hours in the rain. Unfortunately, she got knocked up over Christmas. Merry Christmas and never made it back to Radio City. That was my plan, New York, New York. So the day finally came, I hopped off the trailways bus in my little white shoes, my little white dress, my long hair, which was natural then. I looked like a fucking nurse. I had $87 in my pocket and seven years of tap and acrobatics. With that kind of experience, I figured the mayor would be waiting for me at Port Authority. <laughs> Wrong. <gasps> I had to wait six months for an audition. So big day finally came. I show up at the musical with my red patent leather tap shoes. I do my little tap routine. And this man says to me, so can you do fan kicks? Well, sure, I could do terrific fan kicks. But they weren't good enough. What he was trying to tell me was that it wasn't the fan kicks, it was the way I looked. So I said, fuck you, Radio City and the Rockettes. I'm gonna make it on Broadway. Well, Broadway, same story. I would dance rings around the other girls and find myself in the alley with the other rejects. After a while, I caught on. I mean, I had eyes. I saw what they were hiring. 